Hey, hey to all my scrapbooking friends. I am back with another video of how I am trying to catch up on all of the, you know, pastime events, I guess you could say. Um, today we are using Tracy Reed's, I think it was like called like school days. I'm not positive. I bought this kit when um, it was on like a mega sale or something like that um i think it was like retiring since this was a 2020 kit i'm not sure but anyways tracy reed always has amazing digital uh scrapbooking kits so much is offered in these kits including papers and ephemera and or not ephemera but like uh die cuts and stickers and so much so much stuff i'm not even using one ounce of what is included in this, in this kit but anyways um Again, if you haven't been following my story, I have just picked up scrapbooking again in the last like year-ish. Um, and so I have two boys that are 9 and 14. And so yeah, I've missed a lot of the events and getting all of that um, in their scrapbooks. So uh, what I am doing to catch up on the big events is trying to keep it as simple as possible. And when I come up with a design for one, um, I use it for both, pretty much. Um, that way, also, I am getting the most out of my kits and um, time, pretty much, too. So, this is going to be the school year of 2020 to 2021 so when we came back after the next school year and both of my boys started out in distance learning um so i just wanted to start capturing these moments um and of course i do this when both boys have had pretty much the same event happen in their lives obviously first days of school last days of school big birthdays um, you know, that kind of thing. I will go through and in order to do two spreads very quickly, we just kind of use the same uh, format. So here I am cutting some things out from that kit. Um, one thing I learned real quickly is that some of the things were just a little bit too big like this um, letter board was just a bit big um so i don't end up think i don't end up using that i don't believe um but yeah so much in her kits that you can do and easily uh cuttable um she makes cut lines for the silhouette and makes them you know with a bleed and no bleed and all that kind of stuff so super fun all right, so this one that comes together a little bit slower than the second one as I'm just getting a format together and that is pretty much usually what happens. I start with one with a general idea, get it going, and then the second one it usually comes together super quickly because I've already put one of them together. <laughs> so uh, here I am pulling out the, was it Izzy? Yeah, I think it's called the Izzy font from, um, L Studio, I use, you'll see this, I use this a lot, and you can see, like, my stuff is even not getting sticky, because I'm pretty sure I'm using the wrong baby wipes. They're scented, and they're leaving, like, an oil on my stamps, and it's not making them sticky, so I need to clean them. Anyways, <clears throat> um, so yeah, so just using that with uh, the archival black ink from uh, Close to My Heart, that is most of the inks that I use at this point are Close to My Heart. I'm just loving them. I do have the Studio Calico inks also that you'll see from time to time, but most of the time I am using my Close to My Heart inks. I just love the way that they end up looking after or like they fill in and uh, the color choices all of that kind of stuff so um they are more pricier in the beginning but um i love how big the ink pads are and um like i said just the way that the color kind of uh fills in so um another reason i love this stamp set is that it came with a ton of these little itty bitty like fillers and uh, starbursts and all that kind of stuff. Um, I love this. So I love those little ones. So just filling in with a few of those um, to just add a little bit more to it. I thought it was just a little bit blah at this point. Um, but yeah, at this point, I 
we I think I've gotten the gist of it so we're just gonna put everything down um, I ended up taking their first day pictures in their pajamas <laughs> um, yeah see I figured like mom like oh no that's just too big there um, just to you know signify that yep we are doing school at home and of course the first day stuff like actually I don't think that my kids got dressed for most of 2020 honestly um it was a lot of sweatpants and sweatshirts in 2020 and pajamas going to school but it is what it is we got through it and everything was fine <laughs> Lastly, I am just going to put a little bit of journaling down here um, about how I was hoping that at least my little guy would be going back to face-to-face, -to -face, um, but didn't quite happen. He ended up going face-to-face -face pretty quickly. Uh, they did get the little guys back to school, uh, but my oldest that you will see uh, really never made it back to face-to-face -to -face until March, I believe, um, of 2021. So there is the first one and we are just going to put that in his album right now my system is is that i am just getting things done and putting it in an album um i'm not worrying about what album it's going into i'm not worrying about uh like i'm not worrying about kind of where the home is at this point i don't have enough things for one as you can see like i'm flipping through and i'm flipping through four different years because honestly i'm just taking pictures that are inspiring me right now to get things done so all right moving on to the big guy like I said pretty much same exact pictures same exact format I mean I think I got these two pictures these two projects done in about 25 minutes um, and that's what I'm looking for something that I can come down here very quickly get something done um, and move on to the next one. I'm not spending an hour on each spread. Unfortunately, I just, I don't have that kind of time and I have a lot of things to document. <laughs> um, so right now it is, uh, quality of what, what am I looking for? Uh, just trying to get, you know, the biggest bang for my buck there we go biggest bang for my time pretty much also <laughs> so i do change up a few things um as you're seeing you are also seeing me um i cut two of everything pretty much but of just blank paper um to make them a little bit more dimensional uh and not just one layer so on my silhouette i just copied and pasted onto the silhouette you know document um, and then just took the image away of it so that it would cut the outline uh, pretty easy in that way um, I think a lot of like card makers kind of do this too um, that way it just looks a little bit more dimensional pretty much you've seen me do this in other places also on some other spreads uh, the right story kit I instead of because I don't buy the physical kits um, some of my pages don't have dimensions, so if you lay your regular paper underneath of that, instead of using foam tape, um, it just gets it a little bit more dimension, it makes it look a little bit more like chipboard, that type of thing. So, again, like I said, just the same type of thing, this one's going into 8th grade at this point, um, and just use different papers. So, like I said, it makes it easy peasy when designing these projects and I'm able to get them done. So, I believe at this point I will just wrap it up, let you guys watch the rest um, to some music. So, thank you so much for watching and I would love if you would hit that subscribe button as I am slowly but surely growing. Talk to you guys soon and I will see you in the next one.